Hi, Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And this video is things we loved and hated about our first trip to LA. So we've been buzzing to go to LA. Buzzing. For so long. Buzzing. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Honestly, buzzing. every Brit wants to go to LA. I think it's just something that we have dreamt about yeah and also as well being part of like acting entertainment industry and mm -hmm. growing up it feels like a big thing yeah to go there it feels like a big deal like it's glamorous and it's yeah. like the center of the film industry and you're like when i get to go to la if i ever get to go to yeah. la it's going to be insane yeah like one of my friends messaged me being like you know you've made it leah because you're in la and i was thinking well, no, hun, because I've booked my own trip there. <laughs> booked my and own flight. We've planned to film our content around yeah. being in LA. Like, we've made it happen for ourselves. Yeah. But still, thank you so much that you think yeah. we've made it. Like, and that, but that is the mindset Brits have, though, don't they? Like we've said, mm. like when our friends say they're going out to LA, we're like, oh Whoa. my gosh, you're such a celeb. Yeah, when people say, I've got meetings in LA. Yeah. Whoa. And the reality is that they just sat in traffic all day from yeah. the next one to the next one. It's it just a city. really isn't that glamorous. No. <laughs> but we're going to get into that. Well, let's start with the things we really loved. Okay. Keep it nice and positive. Yeah. And then we'll go into things we didn't really like. Okay. So the first thing that we really loved was Earth Cafe, which was recommended to us by one of our viewers. Yes. Alex, one of our mm -hmm. viewers, Alex McCall, was like, please, 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 John Lear, go to Earth Cafe. There's a couple of them, mm -hmm. but the one on Melrose, yeah, amazing. Loved it. It was so good. We were so confused at first. There was like a mini queue forming outside, so we joined the queue, and they were like, mm. have you ordered? And we were like, no. And they were like, okay, you need to go in that queue. And we were like, oh. but after we did it, we were like, actually, it's quite a cool concept that you go and order first, mm. then find your table. Yeah, it was but good. But how do they find you? Oh yeah, you get given your number thing yeah. and then they've got to come and look at all the tables. Crazy. The system was quite strange, yeah. but once we got into it, we were like, no, sign us up, that's yeah. great, we're going to go back there. Yeah. We went there twice and by the time this video goes out, you will have seen our big break in Hollywood that happened <laughs> at Earth Cafe. I forgot about that. <laughs> the second time we went back, we got spotted by a TV crew who yeah. then put us in their documentary. Fingers crossed we hate, we made yeah. a cut. Hope so. That would be great. And it was hosted by a presenter that we've grown up watching on TV. So it was a big deal to us. Yeah. And that's another thing we loved about LA. that. <laughs> Like people go there for their big break and admittedly this even if this does make the cut yeah it won't be our big break but it just felt a bit like oh. we came to hollywood and we got spotted and yeah. we got filmed by like, a british television company yeah. <laughs> by like a british production company out there yeah. hilarious so um, funny but really really good so we loved earth cafe yeah food was great melrose avenue in general had some really really great spots but i mm. think you kind of need a local to show you the best bits. It was only yeah. from stumbling across a few other places that we were like, oh, this looks yeah. cool. And then you go and check out this uh, thing and it's got a nice garden out the back. But for the majority of it, there's not that much footfall. So no. it's hard to get the vibe. Yeah, yeah. it is hard. Because I guess it's West Hollywood, isn't it? I mm. think Royal Melrose, yeah. Melrose is. And it we is ho. quite WeHo. WeHo. I had no idea what that was. Yeah. You had to say yeah. it's West Hollywood. West Hollywood. So um, it, was, it was quite spread out. So mm. as we didn't have a car, we'd walk and then we'd get tired. So we'd just jump on a bus or do whatever yeah. in an Uber. So um, yeah, we didn't get to explore a huge amount of it. So I think yeah. next time we'd like to explore a lot more of WeHo. Yeah. And uh, yeah, maybe have someone show us around. Yeah, that would be really cool. Does it mean that Soho is South Hollywood or not? Maybe. That would be cool. But in New York, Soho is spelt with a capital S, capital H. So it's like Soho. Ho. But in London, it's not. It's just so a word, Soho. And then in in oh Soho in in West Hollywood is in West Hollywood. Is Remember? there a Soho in West Hollywood? Yeah, because there's places like Soho House, West Hollywood. Oh yeah, so it must be Soho South Hollywood. Hollywood. I don't know. <laughs> no. Who knows? We'll find out in the comments, maybe. Yeah. But more more on the things that we really loved about LA. Um, we really really enjoyed the rooftop pools. Yeah. So it seemed they as were if really cool. when we were looking from our balcony in downtown LA, we saw loads of rooftop pools and we were like, yeah. okay, okay, this is a thing. And that's a thing in LA. The LA culture is all about rooftop pools, which we didn't realise until we got there. No. And it was fun. We went to the W Hotel. Um, there was a pool party going on. We just went upstairs to have a look. You had to have a ticket to get in. And they... we, we thought we thought to ourselves, before we spend the sixty dollars or yeah. whatever it will be paying for both of us to get into this pool party, let's go and see the vibe on the top and floor. See what it's like. Then decide. So we get up to the top floor, security guards, and we were like, mm. Oh, sorry, we're just gonna have a look and then decide whether we're gonna get a ticket. And they were like, Oh no, it's fine, just yeah. come in, you two. 
It was amazing. There was all these people in the queue with their tickets and they were like, just come through and just, yeah. yeah. And we were like, we just got into a pool party for, for free. free. Insane. That was the coolest moment of Wasn't our lives. Wasn't it? We've and we had never... our swimming kits with us. Oh yeah, we had everything. Yeah. We were ready. We just we just have never been treated like that ever. I know. So for us it was a big moment. I think it was the accent. Yeah, it must have been. It must have been because I kind of like I, I went to the loo and I was like, Well I don't look particularly hot today no. and I've just you know I, I don't, no, no, you, you didn't, didn't. didn't. No, you just look no. very no, normal. I think we were just very normal. normal we we're sweaty. We were just like, we want to sit by a pool. Yeah. But for some reason, they let us in for free. They let us in. So and it was, was an amazing moment. Mm. So thank you, Hollywood, for the validation. Thank you, Hollywood. It was Hollywood. lovely. The next thing we loved was In N Out Burger, which we kind of knew would happen. Every single person has told us to go to In N Out, and it was great. Yeah, that was it. Was it was brilliant. Yeah. I mean, one of the highlights for me was meeting the OA old age pensioners next to us, and they were having their lettuce burgers. If you In haven't their gloves. seen, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about the gloves. <laughs> if you have not seen that video, we will link it up in the cards. Yeah. I think it's don't yeah skip to the end but maybe watch the whole thing and you'll see these old older ladies they are oh, amazing they're so cute no that was a great and it turns out that when we went on the bus tour the tmz bus tour they mm. stopped outside that in and out and so that's where loads of celebrities go yeah zach efron all these ariana. people ariana we apparently just, that's yeah. where Lindsay lohan got her dui <gasps> Wow. was like in the drive through or something like that so it just that's felt amazing. like an iconic in and out yeah. on sunset yeah it was the one just off sunset wasn't it yeah fantastic oh, let us know if you've been to that in and out burger because yeah. we have because we have it was great <laughs> i want a dui so <laughs> and it was so cheap because food was very expensive everywhere else so yeah. it was nice to get a meal deal. Oh, definitely. Deal. A meal, meal deal. deal. The next thing we loved about LA was the history of film there, the film mm -hmm. industry. We spent one day at Universal Studios and going around was just magical. Mm -hmm. And you could just imagine how amazing it would be to be part of a project there. Like, yeah. you know, think about Brits that have gone over there and landed incredible roles like James Corden having mm -hmm. the Late Late Show. Like, how magic that must feel to be like, Okay, today I'm driving around yeah. doing a bit of carpool karaoke, and yeah. then in the evening I've got my show. That's it's so, so good. Cool. I remember just yeah. driving past one of those studios that wasn't open to the public, like yeah. Universal or Warner Brothers, and it was just like a massive studio there with movie posters on the side, and I was just like, Wow, that's amazing. That is where movies are made, and that you're right. In there, yeah. inside there, inside. is where it all happens, and you can totally see why people that are craving to be part of that industry move mm. there and take up other jobs because they just want to be near it yeah. and it, it's true you've got to be near it haven't yeah, you yeah it's really cool to get so. spotted in earth cafe exactly next stop hollywood studios baby <laughs> so now we're going to go on to the things that we hated i mean hate is quite a strong word or things that we were disappointed by that we didn't like as much which yeah. is only natural i feel like have to give disclaimers every time you say something negative. I know, but, but I think any time you go somewhere with high expectations, like we did, yeah. you're always going to be disappointed. We were sitting on the plane, on the domestic flight from Vegas to LA, and we were literally like, this yeah. is it. We were like, yeah. No, seriously. We're gonna want to move. We're gonna here. want to move here. Like, yeah. we're gonna leave leave everything yeah. and everyone yeah. and just move to LA. And that didn't happen. <laughs> John was going to fall in love. I know. It was all... I'm sorry to bring that up. I thought it was going to happen. I thought I was going to meet the love of my life and move out there. Yeah. But it didn't happen. No. Um, and not just to do with that. Didn't meet the love of my life. Didn't love the city as much as I thought yeah. I would. But also, I wouldn't... I'm not triggered if someone comes to London and doesn't like things about London. Because I'm like, What's fair enough. Personal, I mean, there's things I don't like about London. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so, yeah. Just don't get triggered. Okay. Yeah. Anytime we say something about America, it's not a personal attack on you yeah it's just an observation as a tourist there and most of you guys completely get that and we'll be going yeah, yeah i get course, it but yeah. if you saw the amount of comments that we get they're like you hate america i hate you i mean you're like uh, oh my gosh it just triggers us yeah. so much so the things, <laughs> i think um one of the first things that we will mention is prosecco so yeah. obviously the standard of Prosecco was just not up to scratch. No. You'd think for Hollywood. I know what it is. 
They mm. probably did the champagne very well. Yes, And there's that's us true. living a champagne lifestyle on a, on a, Prosecco, on a budget, Prosecco budget. But we yeah. genuinely love Prosecco because we're cheap scales. Yeah, we love Prosecco. We love wouldn't it. want champagne. We'd always choose Prosecco, Prosecco. But Prosecco is cheaper than champagne anyway. And we love that because we love a bargain. Yeah. Um, we didn't obviously try every single Prosecco in the city. There may be a great place. But every Prosecco we tried was mm. quite dry and wasn't sweet enough. We quite like sweet Prosecco. Prosecco? Mm. So that yeah. was an issue. Yeah, that was a real issue. Yeah. And a few waiters looked at us funny when we said Prosecco on the menu. Yeah, and they were like, Never no. heard of it. So it just, to us, proves that we've just got to keep raising awareness of Prosecco yeah. every single day on the internet. So guys, if you haven't ever heard of Prosecco before, go out, get yourself a bottle, send us a photo, give this Tag video a us. like. Tag us on Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Facebook. Say that we've allowed you to yeah. try Prosecco for the first time. Honestly. We just love it when the message is... Yeah. Ow. So the next thing that we didn't like, which is quite a serious thing, and uh, it's not personal to us, I know that nobody likes this side of things, was the homeless situation or problem, especially in downtown LA on Skid Row. We've never seen anything We've like that. We've never seen anything like that. And it. as I said, I know that everyone doesn't like that side of things and thinks it's really heartbreaking, really sad. But um, because we'd never seen anything like that before, it yeah. was quite shocking. And I'm shocked that the LA people or council don't do anything about it. Yeah, it's just so different to what we've seen in the UK. So like the biggest sort of area of homelessness that I've ever seen in London, mm. all of the homeless people, that there's somewhere they can go and get food. There's, yeah. there's always someone who's up for stopping and having a conversation mm. with a homeless person. And often it is conversation that homeless people need and want but it's a different story in america in the uk we always see someone having a conversation people up for a conversation but i think in america because of the sheer amount of homelessness mm. no one really wants to help them and yeah. i think that because of that that it's just a downward spiral there's no health care it's just really tough and there's so many of them. Mm. And it happened as well in Texas. There was a certain bridge that you shouldn't go near that people mm. told us about where loads of homeless people were camping and gathered. So I don't, it seems like it is a, is maybe a cultural difference that I feel like we deal with homelessness a bit differently in the UK. Mm. And I feel like they get more support here. Yeah. And like you said, there's loads of shelters and there's, there's of course people still living on the streets but yeah. the numbers of them on skid row like the whole street was lined with tents yeah like we drove down there in an uber and he was like i'm so sorry i'm gonna get off of here very quick and we we're like don't apologize yeah like, don't don't it's... apologize for the view no. that we're seeing that there's homeless people here yeah it would we for us it was just we just couldn't believe it yeah it was um, really sad um I don't know what the issue, what, I don't know what the solution is. No. Um, and that's probably how the American authorities feel as well, maybe yeah. the LA don't know what to do about it. I don't know. But that was just really sad. Mm -hmm. And yeah, a bit of a culture shock because we've not seen that before. No. So next thing we want to talk about is Venice Beach and Santa Monica, Santa Monica yeah. Pier, Pier mm. and Beach. It was just a tiny bit disappointing, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we, just thought it'd be like Baywatch. Yeah, we wanted Baywatch, guys. We wanted, we wanted girls in swimsuits, guys in short shorts, <laughs> running down the beach in slow mo, holding that red boy thing or buoy, as you buoy. guys call it. Buoy. <laughs> the buoy. Um, running and everyone being glamorous yeah. and having a good time. They were just a bit tacky. They were just a bit tiny bit. Tiny bit over touristy and tacky. And yeah. I know as tourists that sounds hilarious because yeah. we wanted to go somewhere and find. A yeah. non-tourist spot. It's the classic thing you Google. Non-tourist things to do in London. Yeah. Non-tourist things to do, in, and you get there, and there's loads of tourists because everyone yeah. knows about it anyway. But Venice Beach, firstly, Muscle Beach was sort of non-existent because mm -hmm. the gym was closed down when we went. Yeah. It's being renovated, so we were like, "Where are the muscles? We're yeah. on Muscle Beach. Where are they? There were there were no muscles they on Muscle there. Beach. These are the biggest muscles, apart from yours." On Muscle Beach! <laughs> and don't get us wrong, we know that there are loads of beaches and since we've been, people have said to us, you need to go to Huntington Beach, you need to go to Malibu Beach, you need to go to all these different yes. beaches. But we're just upset that our thought of Venice Beach and Santa Monica yeah. Pier and Beach 
wasn't what it was yeah. like we those are the beaches we hear about in the uk venice beach oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh and then we got there and we we're like Are you expectation joking? versus reality yeah it was that but when we went to summer in the city pete was oh, yeah. like oh i love venice beach you're kidding you don't like it it's so cool but i guess he's a bit more hippie-ish and like oh yeah that's like all of those sort of kind vibe. of shops and very hippie yeah. go against the fortune yeah. red. that's cool yeah. i mean yeah you just got to be it just wasn't totally our vibe, and no, that's fine. That's fine. We will find somewhere we one will. day that is our vibe. So give us recommendations of cool beaches where there's Baywatch people. <laughs> In the comments. <laughs> In the comments. Okay, the next one is probably an unfair criticism, and you guys are going to hate us for this, but is the distance. Um, you oh, can't yeah. help how big your country is, you but it's it. such a big country. Just everything so spaced out. LA felt like five cities in yeah. one city. Um, yeah, it totally did. Yeah. Like downtown, so different from Hollywood. West Hollywood, different to Hollywood vibes. Yeah. That there's no sort of way in, in my opinion, in LA, picture a night out with friends. There's no way you can just be like, let's start here, see where it ends up. There's no such thing because no. You, it's Ubers across that. It's an hour here, an hour there. Like you can't just go out like you do in London and see where the night ends up. No. Like from pub to pub and and you might go from crawling, central London to, to east, east London, London back to south London in one night. Yeah, but you can't do that in LA. No, it's like you're here or you're there. Yeah. Why would you go? Why would you start there and like? Yeah. Nah. And it, again, this isn't something we hated about it. No. It has its benefits because there's so much to explore and it's really cool. Mm. But. Yeah, it's just something. I think that's one of the reasons I wouldn't want to live in LA because I like being able to walk in London, like yeah, walk the city. You're a big walker. I'm a big walker, and you guys know we bang on about walking and driving and stuff like that. But yeah, um, you love a walk. I love it. I love a walk as well, yeah. especially if the weather's good. Yeah. I love walking through London. Absolutely. Can't get bored of it. No. He who is bored of London is bored of life. That's what they say. And that's true. Mm. I don't know who said that quote, it wasn't me, but don't put that in quotations on here. Hashtag it's because it was not me. Put it on a t shirt. <laughs> um, the final one. The final one mm. in comparison to Vegas. But remember, we had just come from super hot Vegas. With um, great aircon. Yeah, with great aircon, was the weather really let us down. It was so gloomy, wasn't oh, it? Is in that LA? what you were going to say? I didn't realize you were going to say that. And the aircon as well in Uber cars. Yeah, it was not good. AC. Sorry, I know people get triggered when we say aircon. AC. Not a lot of drivers had it on. So yeah. poor Joel, sweating. Yeah. Get Me. into an Uber, pouring with sweat. Me finding sweat behind my knees. Yeah. Disgusting. They just don't really put the aircon yeah. on in, in in Ubers in LA, we found. But yeah, the weather the wasn't weather was as The weather was a tiny guaranteed. bit disappointing. It was, wasn't it? We arrived on Santa Monica Beach and yeah. we were like, it's cloudy, but we might as well take our tops off. Yeah, we, we sort of opened the curtains or the blinds every morning at the Airbnb and right. went, hmm. It's meant to be nice today. Also, I feel like we've just skimmed over. We need to do a video about earthquakes because we experienced earthquake in Vegas and, and when we arrived in LA and it was terrifying. And that was probably one thing that we'd really put us off the city. I was like, I can't live here. If there's going to be the big one anytime soon, I can't live in a city. No way. That's going to potentially have a massive that earthquake. That was really, I, I, I'm going to say it in the earthquake video, okay. I'm going to save it. But yeah. I truly believe I'm still, I'm still yeah. affected by it. Yeah. And I'll tell you why in that video. Yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. But that's the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. We post videos thrice, thrice weekly, weekly, twice on this twice channel, and, and once on our personal. personal. We need to rehearse that. We need to rehearse that. <laughs> and also, I think now, with the way it's going, there's almost videos every day. Oh, yeah, when you think about it, because there's a live stream, there's this, there's personals, bonus, baking, vlogs, there's everything. There's, there's actually everything. content. We post videos every week. Every day. <laughs> we nearly <laughs> post videos every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's more content. We, yeah, we need to change that. Maybe yeah. we'll get rid of thrice. That's the RIP thrice. You guys are going to go mental. mental. Oh we my post gosh. videos thrice weekly and sometimes more. Sometimes more. Yeah. Yeah. That's Because nice. thrice weekly across all of them, guaranteed. All of them. They're guaranteed yeah. going to get one here, one on the joint, and one on yours. Yeah. And then guaranteed. Plus more. We post yeah. videos thrice, thrice weekly, weekly and plus sometimes more. And sometimes more. more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll do we that. Get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, cool. cool. Keep that nice in. One. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Well, I'm glad we sorted out that outro. Yeah, that was good. That was going to have to be another meeting. Fantastic. That was going to be another hour-long meeting hour -long discussing meeting. outros and lines. And Don't worry, I'm not on the loo. I'm just pouring some water. Yeah, you, you, Thank you. lubricate your vocal folds. <laughs>